Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is iOS 9.2 Beta 1. Apple released this today to developers, and if you're a developer, you can go ahead and grab it. Now this particular version, like I said, is 9.2. Let's take a look at that. Under version, down here at the bottom, you'll see it's 9.2, and then that's the actual version, 13C5055D. That's Beta 1. So under Safari is where we see the majority of changes with this particular beta. So if I go into Safari, I've already loaded my website. Now one of the things you can do is if you long press on the refresh button here at the top, we can request a desktop site or we can reload it without content blockers. One of the things they've actually added is if you're within an app and you bring up Safari that kind of is built into that app, you can also have these options as well. So that's really nice. One of the other things has to do with third-party app integration. If we hit the share button here and slide over. I've actually enabled this under more. So if I go to more, you enable it under one password and here's your different options. And then you can go to slide back over here and we can go to share with one password. Now this isn't going to work because I haven't properly set it up yet on this particular version, but that's one thing it actually does. The only other things they've really noted as far as the notes go from Apple is video issues with a couple different things on 32-bit devices. So that's older iPhones that don't have 64-bit processors, but that will be fixed in the future uh, when it finally comes out. A couple other known bugs on the Apple Watch side of things with repairing and also iCloud Keychain. There's some known issues with the Keychain errors and you have to reboot in order to fix that. Also one of the things to note is that we thought 9.1 was for the iPad Pro. So maybe they're refining some things and this is a final update for iPad Pro before it comes out as well. The update actually was pretty big, almost 2.4 gigabytes. So hopefully there's a lot of other fixes in the background as well. They're their recent betas have been rather large, but other than that, there's not a whole lot more that I've been able to find. But if you know of something, or maybe you've discovered something, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.